I thought today I'd do a quick video running through the 12 tools that have had the greatest impact on my DIY over the years, just in case you're looking to buy a tool for yourself or someone you know and you need a bit of inspiration. And just to clarify, because I'll be referring to a lot of tools today, I haven't received any sponsorships or other fees for today's video. At 12, we've got the laser level. In my case, this Dewalt DW088, which fluctuates in price. It's currently on at 99 pounds at Screwfix. Now this is admittedly not a typical DIY tool, but I thought I'd include it in my top 12 because it's a proper bit of genius. If you've got a serious wardrobe build, or you just want a perfectly straight line to put up a load of pictures, something like this is brilliant. You can put it on a tripod or the magnets on the back enable it to stick to any wall that has a plastering angle bead or other metal strip behind the surface. Now it is a lot of money, so if that puts you off, make sure you get yourself a decent spirit level because this is gonna be crucial for so many DIY projects. Next up at 11 is my belt sander. I'm putting this on the list because over the years, this is the power tool that's probably been most useful to me or which I've spent the most man hours operating. Although in recent years, its use has changed as I've become more adept at using my circular saw and electric planer. I sanded all the floorboards in my old house with this and it's good at a large range of tasks from filing down metal to precision sanding pieces of wood. And it's a great option if you haven't got a professional workshop. I've had mine for the best part of 20 years now, but updated models are available pretty cheap, both mains and battery powered. At 10, we've got my Ryobi leaf blower. The leaf blower is one of those tools you won't appreciate how much you need until you've got one. And I could not be without it now, removing all the sawdust from my workbench, tools and tool bags, clearing building dust from masonry, just love my leaf blower! As well as for the more obvious jobs of clearing leaves and things from decking and paths. I would advise you to get at least a 4AH battery as they are quite power hungry. Or another option would be something like this steel. Next up at nine, I've got my circular saw. Now this should really be much higher than nine given how it's totally transformed the landscape of my DIY since I've bought it. If you or the person you're buying for does a lot of carpentry and doesn't currently have one of these, it should be very, very, very high up your shopping list. Before I owned it, I used to cut all my wood with a handsaw and then tidy it up with my electric plane. Now I just do a single cut with my circular saw and with a raft of square, you can quickly and easily do right angle cuts both vertically and at varying angles. Secondly, it gives you the ability to rip down full sheets of MDF or ply, meaning you no longer have to get your sheets of MDF or ply cut at your local DIY retailer. I've noticed Ryobi include a circular saw in one of their starter packs. If you went for this and took advantage of their free Christmas gift offer that's running at the time of this video, and which includes my leaf blower just featured, you'd be truly up and running. Urbauer are also offering a circular saw in this pretty useful starter kit. Whatever you buy, make sure you have a 4AH or 5AH battery as this is a very power hungry tool. At eight, it's my electric planer. Again, this is one of the most important tools in my collection. I was a bit intimidated when I first got it and I suspect most DIYers who enjoy a bit of carpentry struggle at the best of times with hand planes. But the electric planer, changes all of this by making planing a breeze. Whether it's trimming down doors or fine tuning the edge on a piece of timber you've just cut. This is mine, but I'd probably be tempted to go cordless next time given how the cable can get in the way. And there are some good options available online. Next up at seven is the STS drill. As I'll come on to a bit, if you've got a nice light drill driver, the STS drill will as good as complete your cordless drill driver collection. Why buy an SDS? Well, because you'll seriously struggle to drill into concrete with a combi drill on hammer action, whereas the SDS will go through it like a knife through butter. And to find out why the SDS drill is so powerful, check out my recent video on this, a link to which is coming up on screen now. There are some good reasonably priced options out there, and I've had my eye on this one from Urbauer for some time now, and you can pick it up with a 4AH battery for £150. Alternatively, if you're happy to go mains, then this Titan is a fantastic tool for your money, which I've used on a number of refurbishments and is available in a few different models, with this version coming with 20 accessories. Believe you me, £80 for a tool of this size and power with all of these accessories is incredible value for money. 
and if you've got any serious chiseling to do, you'll be wanting to buy a mains powered SDS drill anyway. Remember, SDS drills have a different drill bit to standard drill bits, so unless you buy this Titan with all its accessories, you'll want to buy a few SDS drill bits, but they're not expensive. At six, we've got my Fat Max tape measure. We all know about tape measures, but again, I'm including this on my list because the Fat Max five meter tape measure is a one I've settled on after a lifetime of using pretty much every tape measure under the sun, most of which tend to fail or break pretty quickly with average use. Also available in an eight and 10 meter version, but you're rarely gonna need a tape measure above five meters in length and the eight and 10 meter versions are much more bulky. What stands this out from the competition is the strength and width of the tape. The hook on the end, which is much more substantial than most and the way you can extend it an incredibly long way without it snapping. Crucial when you're measuring something single-handed. At five, we've got the head torch. Bottom line, I simply couldn't manage without this. And it's one of those things that until you've had one, you just don't know what you're missing, a bit like the leaf blower. The benefits for DIY are obvious in terms of freeing up both hands when you're working overhead or in poorly illuminated spaces. But I also use mine for walking the dog and going for early morning runs in the dark. If you can, get a rechargeable one, nice and simple. You don't need red lights or flashing LEDs like this one had, which was the first one I bought. This one's literally just got three light settings and a setting where you can switch it off just by wafting your hand over it. A link to this and all the other tools featured in today's video will of course be in the description below the video. But suffice to say, I've had this for about seven months now and it hasn't missed a beat. Next up at four is my Leatherman multi-tool. This makes the list because in my day job or at the weekend, I will always have this attached to my belt in its case. Partly because I put one down on site once and it was stolen within seconds. But also, put simply, I use it all the time. Obviously the long nose pliers with their replaceable wire cutters, but also the scissors for cutting thin wires, the knife for opening bags of sand and cement, or indeed the diamond file for sharpening kitchen knives, or because it's removable, the actual knife on the Leatherman itself. And then there's the screwdrivers. This one's obviously opened a tin of paint recently and loads of extra attachments you can get for it. The Surge is one of the largest, heaviest in the Leatherman range, which is what I like about it. And then the prices tend to go down as they decrease in size. But it is expensive and fear not because there are a lot more accessible alternatives out there like this Gerber or Stanley Fat Max. Something like this would make a fantastic gift or be an invaluable addition to your toolkit. At three, we've got my Stanley Ratchet Screwdriver. I know this is just a humble manual screwdriver, but I've included this at three because I couldn't function without it. It's an integral tool in my collection. And in fact, my carpenter mate John, when he started working with me, went straight out and bought one himself. And he's been in the business a lot longer than I have. Even if you've got a very capable drill or impact driver, you'll often need a manual screwdriver to give the screw a final few turns to check tightness. And that's particularly the case if you're fixing into plasterboard, where you're using something like a Fisher fixing that knots up behind the board. And whilst I've experimented with a few brands over the years like this Draper, I keep coming back to this Stanley with its screwdriver bits conveniently stored around the neck of the screwdriver. When you get yours though, do check what accessories it comes with because they do vary from one screwdriver to the next. At number two, we've got the tool roll. Now, if you just bought a cordless drill, combi drill, drill driver, you need all the screw bits and drill bits to go with it. I've experimented with a number of sets in the past like this Makita, which has everything you could possibly need, but is rather big and cumbersome to carry around. Not to mention store. But for day-to-day -day use, I love this DeWalt tool roll because it has all the basic drill and screwdriver bits you need and then rolls up into almost nothing to make it really easy to store in your toolbox. If I have one criticism, the masonry drill bit on the previous one of these that I had didn't last very long. I think the six millimeter bit failed the first time I used it. But with all tool rolls, you are gonna get through the bits and you can simply replace the ones that you've damaged or broken with new, better ones. And on this point, I'm gonna put these Bosch Professional Multipurpose Drill Bits onto my list. Someone recommended these to me a few years ago and I use them all the time now as do the guys that work with me in the day job. As the name suggests, they work on steel, wood, masonry, UPVC, ceramics, and concrete, removing the need for you to buy multiple drill bits for different applications, making them perfect, therefore, for any DIYer wondering what drill bits to buy. 
Buying drill bit accessories can get a little bit addictive because there are so many on the market. Like this little Erbauer impact set for PHP, Z and Torx bits that I picked up whilst queuing in Screwfix and this set from Ryobi I bought for my son a while back. So have a bit of fun and try and get hold of something from one of the established brands that has all the screwdriver bits and drill bits that you think you're going to need. And finally at first place we've got the cordless drill driver. So why is this at number one? Well arguably the drill driver or its combi cousin is the most useful tool you'll ever own. Now if you're about to take the plunge and buy one of these you must check out my recent video, a link to which is coming up on screen now. As you need to know the differences between drill drivers, combis, impact drivers and SDS drills before you part with your hard earned cash. I personally like a nice light 12 or 18 volt drill driver for most drill and screwing tasks and then an SDS for heavy duty drilling into masonry and concrete. And that's why this 12 volt drill driver is my number one tool. I bought it five years ago for a job I was doing in Switzerland where I needed a light tool to fit in my luggage. And it's the tool I've instinctively reached for every day ever since because it weighs just over a kilogram and it's capable of doing most drilling and screw driving tasks. However, it's sadly not widely available anymore so I've recently bought this Milwaukee replacement for £149 from Screwfix. With two 2AH batteries, an all metal chuck, all metal gearbox amongst its features. Whilst this does have a hammer action, handy for those of you who still want to be able to drill into masonry, there's a near identical drill driver but as they were both the same price and weight, I thought it'd be crazy not to buy the combi version with its hammer action. Elsewhere, you can get this version from Bosch with two 1.5 AH batteries for just £79. And I like Amazon's suggestion of combining it with those universal drill bits I just mentioned and this 32 piece screwdriver bit set. Or on the Bosch website for £119 with two 2 AH batteries and a 25 piece bit set. So that's their GSB combi range that has the hammer action. For their straight drill driver range that doesn't have a hammer action you want to look out for the GSR models. Now these offers change from time to time and might even be out of date by the time you get to watch this video. But I guess the point I'm making is do your research, work out which tool would best suit you or the person you're buying it for and get hunting online for the best prices or start a kit or bundle deals. Even as we speak, I'm thinking of tools that should have made the list, like my quarter inch shank trim router and also my Kramer Kit 7 silicone profiling tool. I'll post links to the videos that I've done on these tools in the description below this video so that you don't miss out. And don't forget you can access the description by clicking on the little arrow from your smartphone or on the show more button on your PC. You'll also find a link there to my Amazon storefront where I've included this list and all the other tools in my collection. I'm not actually physically selling these tools on my storefront but I'm linking to sellers who are. It doesn't cost you any money to click through these links but it does give me a small commission if you do. Anyway, I really hope this has given you some ideas or inspiration in your hunt for new DIY tools. If it has, it'd be great if you could give it a thumbs up below. And if you're new to my channel, as I always say, it would mean so much to me to have you subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link here and don't forget to click the bell notification icon so you get notified of all my future uploads. See you soon.